2023 Person of the Year is Taylor Swift. That's right. Back to Taylor Swift. The Taylor effect is real. Travis Kelsey gained almost 900,000 new followers. And that's going to wrap it up here with NFL. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, he didn't Jordan say Camp. no, though. I'm just so glad they're having fun because yeah. I just want them to have fun this week. Yes. Because they filled my life with a lot of fun. There's Taylor Swift and the VIPs who are here watching. A little closer game here tonight. The whirlwind romance between Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey and pop songstress Taylor Swift may be about to ramp up over the Christmas period. Romeo and Juliet Swift's support of Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium in September had given rise to dating rumors involving the two. To fans' frustration, the couple kept mum for too long. Well, the tide seems to be turning. Us Weekly reported earlier this week that Swift plans to be at Kelsey's games whenever she can and that she isn't interested in hiding their relationship. The approach is a stark contrast to Swift's last relationship, which ended in March. During her six years dating Joe Alwyn, the two were almost never seen out together as they embraced privacy. Taylor is at a point in her life where she's no longer willing to hold back, one source said. If something feels right, like it does with Travis, she's jumping in with both feet. She's very happy and loving life right now. Taylor has decided she's not going to hide anymore, a second source said. She's going to be her authentic self and enjoy life. Kelsey and Swift talk every day. Taylor's really enjoying getting to know Travis. They're taking it day by day, but she has high hopes. She likes that he's a normal, nice guy. He's down to earth and isn't affected by fame. She also thinks he's hot. After endless rumors, Speculation and countless camera pans to Taylor Swift cheering on Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey from the family skybox over the past few months, the singer has finally opened up about her relationship with the NFL star in an interview for Time Magazine's 2023 Person of the Year cover story. 2023 Person of the Year is Taylor Swift! <laughs> 95% of the time I'm planning it, but there are some times when they're like, the math, and I'm like, oh my god. And that's going to wrap it up here with NFL. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, he didn't say camp. no, though. Back, please. Nine, one, nine, one. Sunday show at SoFi is going to be an absolute blast, I'm sure. I went to the one here in Kansas City, so I don't know if I'm double dipping. The time actually released multiple covers of Taylor, including this one where she's posing with her cat. Ooh. This all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. We started hanging out right after that, Swift said on a July 26 episode of Kelsey's New Heights podcast in which he recounted his failed attempt to woo the singer by making a special friendship bracelet for the July 9 Eras Tour show he attended at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other. By the time I went to that first game, we were a couple. I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game. We would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date. She continued in one of her first in-depth interviews in four years. Back to Taylor Swift. The Taylor effect is real. Travis Kelsey gained almost 900,000 new followers. I wanted to be as creative as I possibly could. So these are songs that no one's heard before, so I wanted them to be the best version. And what I said when I said it. Shot to shot, and, huh, And man. you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to talk about my personal life. I know what you writers want to hear. It really just was wonderful because when you have a secret, like I love planning things secretly for them. <laughs> Taylor Swift would be the kiss and then Katy Perry, what's the last one? Katy Perry. That much, honestly, right. still. Yeah. Okay, listen, they care a whole lot. I've been online looking at some of the Easter egg and the, the connections that they've made. <laughs> you want to hear more about that, and I'm not going to give you anything. Has she reached out? Huh? Has she reached out? Since then, the two have shown up for each other in the months since, with a pop star attending half a dozen Chiefs games and Kelsey flying down to Buenos Aires, Argentina on November 11, during a bye week to see another Eras gig. When you say a relationship in public, that means I'm going to see him do what he loves. We're showing up for each other. Other people are there and we don't care, she said, in her first public remarks of the relationship. The opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone and we're just proud of each other. Times editor-in-chief Sam Jacobs noted in an introduction that the person of the year has typically been a ruler over traditional domains of power such as a politician or a titan of industry. But in choosing Swift, 
Jacob said the star found a way to transcend borders and be a source of light, calling her a rare person who is both the writer and hero of her own story. As for Kelsey, a third source said, Travis is completely smitten. A birthday celebration. The blossoming romance between Kelsey and Swift has captured the imaginations of sports and music enthusiasts around the globe in recent months. It turns out that Kelsey is not the only one in love. It was a very merry Swiftmas at the Kansas City For celebrating Taylor Swift's birthday, multiple sources reveal to Us Weekly. Travis Kelsey seems to be planning to make Taylor Swift's special day the best day in her life. Multiple sources tell Us Weekly that the NFL star has grand plans to celebrate the Bad Blood singer's birthday. Swift turns 34 on Wednesday, December 13, and Kelsey, 34, wants to throw the best party possible, according to a source. Really have your phone number ready Amen. on a friendship bracelet to give to Taylor I say Swift. The chief faithful, and I mean all the faithful, are in attendance today. Wow, 12-time Grammy Award winner. You're supporting her, boy. Travis Kelsey's living the good life. Donna Kelsey's living the best life of all. There she is with Taylor Swift again like she was last week. The insider continues, money is not an object, adding that Kelsey wants Swift's close friends to partake in the celebrations. The celebration will take place in New York City rather than Kelsey's hometown of Kansas City, according to a second source. Interestingly, another source expressed their unwavering faith at Swift and Kelsey's budding romance, noting they are going to get married and have kids, mark my words. Since then, the couple has been reunited in the U.S. The duo are expected to spend the festive period together at the Chiefs' favorites $6 million house in Kansas City. According to Life & Style sources, the new couple have settled effortlessly into living at close quarters, with Swift even helping Taylor with some holiday decorating as they make preparations for Christmas. It's claimed that Kelsey and Swift already know they're compatible and have already been left surprised at how seamlessly they've been able to blend their lives. Their source claimed their chemistry has meant that the adaptation to their new life together has been effortless. Ever the romantic, it has been suggested that the four-time All-Pro is now planning to mark his girlfriend's 34th birthday on December 13 in style. They suggest that the Chiefs ace may have an ace up his sleeve when it comes to marking the occasion, saying, Travis has something special planned. He's arranged a very intimate romantic dinner just for the two of them. They revealed while also suggesting that he has something exciting in mind for the day involving the singer's friends, adding, he is trying to pull off a semi-surprise party with the help of some of her closest friends. She's here. Taylor is in the house. Then when you hear the fans singing the song. It's really got my heart expanding. Taylor Good. Swift, and I think you have several covers. Yes, you do. Yeah, and an with interview it. with Taylor. Mm -hmm. What are we doing, guys? Uh, could, couldn't have happened to a better dude, man. This is, oh, this is a dream come true, Jimmy. This is. She's at SoFi. You're off on Sunday. I look, you can make I'll, it I'll to tell SoFi you what, even Saturday night. I'm just so glad they're having fun. Yes. Yeah. I just want them to have fun this week. Yes. Because they filled my life with a lot of fun. While not explicitly clear, it is insinuated that the athlete might pop the question to the Grammy winner only four months into dating. The presumption isn't unprecedented. The twosome is moving with a rapid pace in their relationship. Travis Kelsey plans for Taylor Swift's birthday add weight to proposal rumors. 
The big revelation, however, is that Kelsey may even be planning on getting down on one knee and popping the question over the coming weeks. They added, there are whispers that he could use the opportunity to propose. That's what everyone, including Taylor, is hoping for. The Chief Star has acknowledged the importance he places on family in his life, with his relationship with his mother Donna and brother Jason Kelsey famously close. Speaking to the Wall Street Journal in November, he explained that this is a trait that he shares with his girlfriend. With Kelsey scrambling to get Swift's phone number in as early as July, the couple is now well into the phase of relationship where they are not afraid to show off their affection for each other in public. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.